show today's plan. She showed the decent Pathfinder R51. Differential oils. This one goes for rear differential. 1.8 liters you need oil. And specification GL5. This one goes to front differential. One bottle is enough. This is the front tift specification. Tools need need 10 mm hex, the big one. As well, you need this kind of hex, probably, because uh, back there, in my my particular pathfinder, there is a frame on the way, so it can't really reach the bolt with that big socket. And obviously, pry bar, in case you need to pry it open. I have a pump here to fill it. Yes, you can fill them with uh, this particular, let me see. Those bottles come usually with the uh, nozzle, so you can use bottle for filling. As you can see, this comes, so you pull it out and you can use it. But I prefer the pump, it's much more comfy. You are down under the car, then as you can see, this is the drain plug for the rear differential and this is the filling plug. Always start from cracking open this filling plug, never, never open the uh, drain plug first, in case this one won't come loose or you can't get it out, then you aren't in the big trouble. Because I've seen people taking this first, then they can't get this one open and they are screwed. So as you can see, this frame part is exactly on the way, so I can't use big socket here. So I must use that kind of setup. Hopefully it works. It may not work, we'll see. I managed to break it free, as you can see what I did here. 10 millimeter, and this wrong. First one, it is, there is pieces somewhere around. First, this type of wrench, I did break into parts. This is really difficult, the difficult bolt to get access. And since these are probably rusted, they don't want to come loose. Now, before I'm going to lose it, finally, I'm going to take this away. And now I'm going to try to crack this open. <coughs> so after I managed to crack those two bolts off, as you can see, the magnet is really dirty. We have to clean this one up. Uh, interesting part that this down bottom didn't have the washer. The upper one has washer. I do have new ones ready. But it might uh, fell into the pocket. Anyway, give it a look to the oil. As you can see, it is really dirty. Uh, if you see that kind of foam or something like this, this is because this is a, a coolant box before it was, so it might be looking like that. Don't worry, there is differential fluid, but it is, yeah, it, it is dirty, for sure. So we let it drain properly. Everything is draining down there, I'm going to replace this washer, which you do have, proper one here. This one looks like, or, or maybe this, this is too big, I think. Let me see. Oh, it fits perfectly, as you can see. So I'm taking a new one from here. This is the old. As you can see, it has some teeth in it, into it. Do I have washer for this one as well? Probably not. Anyway, I'm going to clean this one off. There is metal shavings, some kind. But it isn't really that bad, it's normal wear it here. I got everything prepped up, a magnet is clean, new washers and both nuts. So I took uh, those bottle caps off, as you can see, those have the filling, filling plugs in it. But I'm going to use pump because it is much, much easier and uh, goes much faster. I'm putting everything down here so I don't have to come up anymore. Place the magnet back with the new washer and everything. 
so we're good to go. Then we can uh, start the refilling procedure. So, here's my bottle. Press it straight in. Take your time. It should take 1.8 liters of oil. Maybe not everything, probably there is something left inside which you couldn't get out, but close to that number mark, you will see when it starts pouring out. So that's simply it. Easy. Now, the front differential. That's the front differential oil. I should show everything that starts from there. Let's see, let's go down under and see what's going on. And this uh, front uh, front one be seeing kind of hostile or it's easier. And down you now the front differential. This one is easier, I think. This is the fuel block from the passenger side. And the train block is down here from the driver's side. So as always, you start from train block because if you can get it open, then you don't mess yourself up. I got a long pry bar. I just cracked it open. It is loose, it came very easily, thankfully. So I don't have to mess with it. Okay, it's been loose. Now we need pen. Let's start the training procedure. Training, as you can see. Shit. Once you cleaned all this gunk off from the magnet, it's now nice and clean. No metal shavings, no where to go. Like with the new washers, I have this versus set before, so these are exactly fitting to aluminum ones. Make sure it's nice and snug. Don't go crazy. You don't have to over torque them. Obviously, I didn't use the torque wrench, I'm using the normal wrench. But and now, when the oil change is done, as you can see, this is the front differential oil. Look how dirty it is. I took the empty clean bucket. Save with rare 